How to make money as a pure on RuneScape. In this video, I'm going to go over 10 ways one defense purist can make money in old school RuneScape. Starting from 1 being the easiest and least profitable, but most purists can do it, up till 9 and 10, where you're going to be like required to have a blowpipe and overheads and all that good stuff. I know this video is going to be a little long, guys, so I'm going to leave timestamps in the description so you can skip around. And without further ado, let's start. You can spin roughly 1,000 to 1,300 flax per hour. That's going to cost you 2k an hour. And the bowstrings sell for... 140 GP each, so that's a profit of about 140 to 180k per hour, with the only requirement being 10 crafting. The quickest place to spin these flax is Lumbridge. You're going to start at the Lumbridge bank, bank, you're going to go down the stairs, you're going to go into this room, and you're going to use flax on the spinning wheel. And then you want to click, make sure all is selected, and then click this. Essentially, just wait after this. And when you're done, just run back up to the bank and rinse and repeat. Chaos Druids are great for low level pures because they offer 200k GP an hour and not too bad um, combat experience. So it's definitely nice to camp here to get a lot of starting money. It can be a little bit dangerous because of PKers, but I mean, as long as you're not in a Bounty Hunter world or a PvP world, they can't really PJ you because these are going to constantly hit you anyway, the Chaos Druids. Uh, definitely a nice little start to uh, making money on a pure. And if you're a high level pure, I would definitely suggest Flesh Crawlers. They offer roughly 200k cash an hour still, however much more um, combat experience because of their higher hit points. 25 instead of 13, I think? Uh, so I definitely, definitely suggest coming here to make some starter GP, as well as good XP on a pure. And the next on this list is white berries for 400k an hour. The only things you really need is an anti dragon shield, a glory, uh, an anti Carl teleport, which you can get on the GE for, I believe, about 3k. Yeah, something like that. And the ability to withstand basically a few hits from a um, dragon. Um, that's about it, yeah. And PKers. PKers come here a lot, so don't bring anything you're not really willing to lose. So we're going to go ahead and teleport to Anakal now. And the easiest way is to run this way. Well, I mean, the only way is to run this way. I'm going to speed this part up so you don't get bored. And once you're here, just open the gate, run past these uh, lava dragons. Again, you might need to tank a hit, but as long as you're nimble, you shouldn't really get hit too many times. I'm going to take a hit here, just for reference how much we'll take. Damage 14. Might be best bringing some food. However, I didn't for this video. Derp. Um, but food is probably helpful. Maybe one or two pieces of shark, just, don't, just so you don't take damage from the dragons. And I think the safest way would be to just wait for this to respawn. Yeah, they're really not long to respawn. So I'm going to speed this up again so you don't get bored. And teleport out with your glory to anywhere that's the Edgeville. So in the looting bag, we have 29k worth. And in the inventory, we have 31k worth. So that's about 60k. Let's double check that. Let's uh, deposit. Let's deposit all. And 52. The price of that is 61k. So just keep doing that. Rinse and repeat for an hour. Easily, easily make money doing this way. And this next one's Green Dragons, which is actually really easy to do on a pure and gets about 500k plus an hour. However, this is in the wilderness, so I wouldn't bring anything you're scared to lose because there will be PKs now and then. Um, so I just bring a rune crossbow, a little bit of leather, some some um, inexpensive bolts. Diamond bolt are probably the best diamond bolts E. Um, and the best way to get there is a Karolanga teleport. So once you break this, you're going to be in the wilderness. One second, let's break, please. Let's break this. There we go. So you're going to be in the wilderness. And from here, all you need to do is run a little bit up. And you will be at the green dragons. So we've got someone here already. Doesn't look like a PK. It looks like someone killing the green dragons. Cause there is a safe spot here. So we're just going to go ahead and hop real quick so I can show you. I think the biggest problem with this spot here is just trying to find an empty world. It did take it did take like three or four hops, but we got an empty world eventually. So this is a safe spot here. So you just kill the green dragons from here. Um, and essentially just keep killing. Rinse and repeat. I'll be back whenever full inventory. That didn't take long at all, to be honest. That was like four minutes, if that. That was crazy quick. The Green Dragons have a really fast respawn time. So let's have a look how much we made from that inventory. Uh, we're looking at, again, about 60k. Really nice. This next one is KB Day. It's actually really nice to kill as a pure because it has the same max hit on a 1 defense pure than it does on a 1 2 6. So it's actually really nice as a pure. So the KBD is actually really good money since it got updated. Now it drops double hides and bones guaranteed every time. Uh, as well as what the, the, the FS, the D picks. 
Uh, I think it drops 150 U-Logs noted as well. So it's actually a really, really good boss to kill, especially if you want to go for that pet, which looks really nice. So again, this is similar to your Green Dragon setup. You don't really need any more, to be honest. You're going to need an, a Ranging Potion, a Super Restore, or a Prayer Pot, uh, an Antidote, or an extended anti-fire. So I use the super restore or prayer pot for the eagle eye. Uh, I mean, if, you pro if you're professional flicking, you won't need the prayer, but honestly, I'm too lazy. So the quickest way to get that is a burning amulet. You want to go to Lava Maze, which is 41 Wilderness. So again, don't bring anything you're not scared to lose. And make sure you teleport over. Easy peasy. And from here, we're just going to go west. And the, as you can see, the burning am amulet basically takes us to KBD instantly. So it's actually really nice. You've just got to be careful of PKers because there's definitely quite a few around here. Uh, however, most of the time, if they know it's just a little newbie killing KVD, they'll still they'll, they'll most likely leave you alone. Um, or brutally murder you. I guess it's like a bonus pick. So this is a busy boss actually, so hopefully we can find an empty world. Alternatively, you can right click the lever and pay 50k for a private lair. If that's something you would like to do, that's definitely an option, but it's 50k you don't necessarily need to spend. Um, so let's kill one, one of these to show you what I mean. Not too long of a kill there, about a minute and 10 seconds. Um, unfortunately, we got an amulet power drop, it's not the best. Um, but however, you can get really nice drops here, to be honest. And basically, I know I'm in bad gear here, but um, naturally, you're going to get much higher hits if you use better gear. Uh, I just want to base this guide around someone who doesn't have much GP. That's why I'm using the welfare gear here. Like Obviously, you could use an anguish or a um, dragon hunter crossbow, that'd be ridiculous here. But um, yeah, I just want to show you what I can get in a kill in the most basic gear for the KBD. And honestly, it's really not that hard. As long as you keep, your, you keep yourself range potted and eagle eye, you're fine. However, I would I would probably suggest at least 80 range for this boss. Any lower and the, and the, the kills may take too long. However, I've not really tried it with 70 range. It could still be pretty good. So I'm going to get this kill and we'll move on to see what we get. Absolutely shredded at that time, GG's. And we get 11 Dragon Darts, that's not bad again, so that's what, 34k drop? Yeah, let's have a look. So we'll just price check two simple kills, let's dip out of here while I do the price check. So from two basic kills, we've got, we've, da -da -da -da, one second. We're looking at, not too bad, 50k from two kills, I'll take it. This next one is Revenants. Theoretically, you could make 2 mil an hour here. You will never make that though, just because how many PKs are there and how many clans. Just prepare to die a lot here. However, big risk, big reward. You actually make quite a lot of money here. And if you've ever thought you're too low level for Revenants, think again. The lower level you are, the better it is. Just because PKs won't kill you if you're a level 30, killing the little uh, level 3s and 5s there, do you know what I mean? So, basically, again, go knowing you're going to die here. So we're gonna. So with that being said, we're gonna bring no risk. I would probably recommend a blowpipe if you're a, if you're a medium level pure, just so you can kill them quicker. Uh, and the bracelet of Ethereum is pretty much needed, but I'm sure you all know about this by now. Everyone knows about revenants. So we're gonna teleport there using the burning amulet again, lava maze, 41 wilderness, and we're gonna run there. So look, oh, looks like she's doing them as well, and we're just gonna run there. So this is actually a great PK in spot as well if you're bored. Just come here, kill some noobs, kill in the. Um, Revs and make some good money. However, we're going to kill some for the video just so I can show you what I mean. And once we're here, just start killing them. So I do want to reiterate overstaying here is the number one death because you'll think just one more kill, just one more kill, and the clan will log in and you'll lose absolutely everything you've had. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill a few. We'll speed it up here. Oh, big clan coming in, big clan coming in, big clan coming in. Telly, 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 telly. Woo! Jesus Christ. See, that's the problem with revs. Like, every five minutes, a giant clan comes in. 
So, it, overstaying is definitely what's going to get you killed most there. Um, and I'd say about 7 minutes, 80k. Kind of got unlucky there. However, I don't know, man. There's a chance of getting the 16 mil emblem, even from the level 3 imps there with 10 health. So, it's, it's definitely worth doing. However, this one's a big risk for reward. Now this method is Barrows, which is easily 1 million hour on a pure. As long as you've got access to a Blowpipe and a Trident, essentially it's so farmable now, especially now you have Barrows teleports, which teleport you directly there. And I'm aware I forgot my spade, however thankfully, they did an update where there's spades here. Absolutely beautiful. It helps to have a barrage or a burst or just, just any freezing spell really so you can run back and you don't use prayer. It's definitely going to help with the cost as well and that's going to maximise profits. So Barrows is 1 mil an hour without an item. So you could get 1 mil an hour and a Verex Helm for example and that's going to boost your profit so much per hour. This is personally my favourite to do on a pure because it's very AFKable in terms of like you can watch a series while easily smashing it very effectively. Um, and yeah, let's do a run. And the loot we're looking at, okay, not so bad, not so good. However, look, four minute run, four minute run to complete entire barrows. So easy, so, so easy. Slayer. So Slayer is one of them skills a lot of pures get to 40, 50 or 60 and then stop because they feel it doesn't make them any money. However, Slayer is a long term investment because you start earning money higher in the skill. So you start basically what, 68 at Dust Devils, 75 for Gargoyles, 77 for Brutal Black Dragons, all the way to 91 for Cerberus. Uh, for them primordial crystals. Now I've personally made uh, close to 150 mil of 94 Slayer on the pure. So it's definitely worth training, without a doubt. This next one, Zora. A lot of people think it's too hard to kill Zora on a, Zora on a pure, and the truth is it's really not. Like, I, I have welfare gear, I've had Zami robes and a wizard hat on. I just want to show you, again, as long as you have the 43 prayer, the trident of the swamp, and the toxic blowpipe, you're pretty much ready to kill it. You just need Zora, you need regicide completed to kill Zora, and after that, anyone can do it. As long as you can equip a fury, sorry, as long as you can equip a blowpipe and a trident, anyone can kill it. So I'm going to use a Zalandra Teleport, I think like 18k at the moment, they're fairly cheap to get there. And I just want to run through one kill. I'm pretty sure everyone should know how to kill Zora, and if not, there's a thousand guides out there. So I'm not going to do a guide on how to kill Zora this, the, uh, this video. just want to show you that Pure can kill it. Let's speed it up. Easy enough. And the loot, are you looking about 100k? Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so I know a lot of people who use pures for merchant while they're training on their accounts, and they'll essentially just keep flipping items. Buy it low, sell it high. There's a lot of good websites out there, and there's one called GE Tracker, which you'll see on screen now, which gives you nice tips. I'll put that in the description as well, so you don't have to remember this. However, the last merch I tried didn't quite go very well, so I'm not going to do this method. It could work out for you, though. Okay, so Lava Dragons aren't actually that bad. They're like 700k an hour, something like that. But every time I tried it, I just kept getting PK'd over and over and over again. But they make the honourable mention because you can kill them at like 13 mage with Fire Strike. It's actually really good um, if you don't get PK'd, of course.
Okay, so Black Chin's actually really good money an hour. The only problem is you need 80 Hunter to do them viably, but it's a really nice spot because there's a lot of PKing going on. So if you're pure, you want to do some PKing, Black Chin's is definitely a place to make some money and have some fun, I guess. Okay, so I couldn't have made this video without adding AFK skill in. So sometimes you may want to watch a movie or, or a series or watch a live stream and just chill. So these are really nice. Maybe you want to go cut some ewes or some mages or maybe fish some sharks or uh, monkfish. I, I don't know, there's a lot of nice AFK money makers. They're not the best per hour, like 100k. I guess it's still an honourable mention though. And that's going to wrap up the video. I know there's a lot more money making methods out there than in this video. But these are like the most mainstream for pures. Without being too difficult, they're pretty nice to farm. I'd like to give a shout out to Ons who helped me with this list. Ons Vi, you're an absolute beast. Thank you very much mate. And for you guys, thank you very much for watching. I know this was a long video. Trust me, if I, if I could have made it five minutes, I would. But it'd turn out terrible. There'd be no information given and it'd be a waste of time. 